So all I need to do now is go to the drill press and put a hole through each of these legs. I went ahead and chucked up a quarter inch bit and I've got a sacrificial block on my drill press table. Now I'm going to put a hole straight through this foot. And I'll repeat for the next uh, three feet and we'll move on to the next step. I went to my scrap pile and I picked up what looks like maybe about an eighth inch uh, piece of scrap and I'm going to kind of use this as a shim. I'm going to lay it along the sideboard and then I'm going to take one of the legs and lay them on top of that shim. And what this is going to do is give me a little room so that I'm not rubbing on the bottom of the board. When I take my bolt and I insert it into the hole that I drilled and I hold it, I can see that my foot will now raise and lower. So what I need to do is mark my hole and drill through this sideboard. To mark the hole, I'm just going to take a hammer, give that carriage bolt a couple of pops, and you can't really see it with the camera, but I've got a nice indention there. I've chucked up the quarter inch bit in my drill, and now I'm just going to go ahead and drill a hole straight through this sideboard. To install the leg, I'm just going to put my carriage bolt through my sideboard. I put a washer on the carriage bolt, put the leg, I have another washer for this side, I've got a lock nut, and I've got a nut. I'm going to first make a knob with this nut before I attach it. Once I make my knob, I'll get the knob attached, and then I'll go ahead and take a Dremel tool and cut this bolt off so that it's not quite so long. To cut these maple knobs, I'm going to start by removing the top section of my fence from my miter saw. I'm going to lock the saw in the down position. I'm going to take my maple, lay it against the blade, and put another block of wood here as a stop block. What this will allow me to do is cut perfectly square sections off this maple block. I'm going to need four of those to make the knobs. The nuts that I have for the carriage bolts are about a half inch in diameter. The closest size down I have to that is a 3 8 inch Forstner bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill 3 8 a 3 8 inch hole in each of these four blocks about a quarter of an inch deep with this Forstner bit. Then I'm going to take a quarter inch bit and drill the rest of the way through the block so that the carriage bolt can go through the block. At that point I'm going to take a hammer and I'm going to drive this nut into the 3 8 inch hole. The pressure of driving it in should hold it into place quite nicely. And consequently, that will form a nice little knob that I can use to tighten my leg in the up or down position. I drew an X on each block and I used a punch to put a dimple in the center. I'm going to go ahead and use this 3 8 inch bit and I'm going to drill about to the end of the bit deep into each block. Now since the blocks are small, I've decided to use a pair of channel locks to safely hold the block while I'm drilling.
I've chucked up my quarter inch bit and now I'm going to go ahead and drill the rest of the way through each of the blanks. Now I'm going to place one of the nuts on top of one of the knobs and I'm going to apply just a tiny bit of force to drive that knob down level with the surface of the piece of wood. One more tap. I'll go ahead and repeat for the other three. Alright, let me show you how this leg works. You can see, if I tip it forward, the leg is staying in place. If I drop this back, and I loosen up this thumb nut a couple of times, the leg can come up, I can tighten it down, and the leg is ready for play. Put it away, loosen this up, drop it down, tighten it up, and the leg will not fall out of the bottom of the cornhole board. I've got the cornhole board stained up, and I'm just waiting for them to get good and dry before I put uh, a polyurethane finish on them. Uh, what I did is I used a little bit of Minwax pre-stain to condition the wood uh, prior to putting the stain on. And then I used a little bit of this uh, Rust-Oleum wood stain. It's a traditional cherry, which is the color that uh, my son's girlfriend really likes. So uh, hopefully they dry nice and even. And uh, next video I show you, they should have some polyurethane on them. I've applied two coats of indoor outdoor spar urethane to kind of finish off the cornhole boards. I'm really happy with the way they look. Uh, the bags were made by a dear friend of mine. Um, and if anybody's interested in a set of bags, you can contact me and I'll uh, give you her contact information. I hope you've enjoyed this project. If you have, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Thank you and have a great day.